What up, though, Lions fans? Your boy, Nomis J, coming at y'all with another video, man. Uh, obviously, we got the game two of the series of the season coming up, man. Lions versus Seattle preview. This is basically going to be so. Um, you know, I just got some things that I want to simply see you from this game Sunday. Uh, obviously, Seattle did lose their first game uh, against uh, Stafford in the rounds, but that was last week. This is this week. Uh, we obviously won our first game. Thursday night football. That was that. This is now. Uh, we don't know to truly how to scale each team week one. So, uh, you know, it's a lot of situations where, you know, maybe the Lions are going to, you know, get back to their offensive production that they put up last year. Uh, a lot of people speculate that uh, could be a possibility that could be. But the Lions got some work to do in this game. They simply need to stop the run. Um, you know, they got K-9 over there, man. That that dude alone is uh, a pretty much a hard got to deal with, man, when it comes to, you know, the ground game for them. Uh, the Seattle has a very underrated run game with that young man. I, to me, he was cheated out of rookie, offensive rookie of the year last year, in my opinion. I know people may disagree with that, but, you know, uh, that guy, man, he can ball. So, you go have to really stop that run defense. Uh, go have to really step it up. You go have to stop that run. That defense on, on the run, on our run defense, got to really step it up, man. So, um, yeah, that's one of the keys right there. And you want to send pressure, too, as well to Geno Smith. Uh, Geno can be good if he get time to sit there and throw. Uh, hit his very fantastic wide receiver core. You know, it's not just DK Metcalf. You got to remember, Tyler Lockett is like the head guy there. You know, he's been there for the longest uh, out of those guys, man. He's been killing it for a long time, man. Him, you know, and Stephon Diggs and both come out that draft. I know Stephon Diggs played for the Bills, but – both of them, two of the most underrated receivers to come out that entire draft class, man. And Tyler Lockett, man, is not no slouch, though. This dude can hurt you so many different ways. They even got young Jackson Smith and Jimba and uh, a couple other guys, too. But, you know, Lions, if they can send pressure, they can slow some of that down. Uh, you go be in a dog fight with Seattle, hands down. That's just what it is. Uh, you know, last year it was, it was like a mirror match. They were built similar to us, but they were more experienced. And that's still kind of the same thing. Um with them touching the playoffs last year, but at the end of the day, Lions uh, showed that they can fight, man. They showed they can play hard and they can play tough with anybody, man. And I think they got a good chance to win this game. I expect them to win this game, but the Lions are going to have to be ready for a dog fight. Um, you know, it's, got, it's, it's time to unleash Jameer Gibbs. This will be the game to start with because, you know, last week, uh, obviously Dan Campbell stated that he kind of wanted to let him get his feet wet. You know, get him, uh, let him get a chance to watch and grasp the NFL life, you know, first kind of give him a little week and give him some spoon fees here and there, which I could totally understand, you know, and at the end of the day, the Lions still won the game. So uh, I believe he's going to take the leash off him this time, and that would be good because this dude, at week, from the seven plays, the nine plays he made when he got a chance to touch the ball, man, we saw he could do some things special. So uh, you definitely want to get Jameer Gibbs the ball, still run it with David Montgomery. Uh, as of today, they just uh, brought Chase Lucas up from the practice squad. Uh, to the, they signed him to the 53-man roster. So I don't know if it was a corresponding move coming with that. Uh, I haven't heard any news yet about Taylor Decker's injury with his uh, walking in the boot. I know he was in the boot. But rumor has it when they told us he was supposed to be still listed to play. So uh, that's remaining to be seen. But, yeah, um, yeah, man, Seattle, they got their injuries. But I don't really care about the people they're missing because I'm not looking to build – us, uh, my confidence just because they in, got injuries, they still got some guys that can hurt you. So, you know, you don't want to underestimate a team due to injuries. Like, that's, some, that's, that's something you don't want to do. So, uh, quit focusing on the injuries more so. Just stop what is there. You know, focus on what it, they do have available, and we got to shut that out. You go in, you know, thinking, oh, you got it easy because they got some pieces missing on both sides of the ball. You start assuming the worst thing, then you get smacked in the mouth, and then, you know, you start getting ready to call the same old lion. So, Want to go in there, focus, man. It's our home opener. I expect it to be loud. I expect everybody to be going crazy. Um, and you know what I'm saying? So I expect, I expect a hell of a game Sunday. You know, I got some friends going down there. So shout out to them. Um, but yeah, man, I expect a hell of a game this Sunday. You know, I expect the dog fight. It should be a good game. You know, usually our games with Seattle usually be physical. So like I said, you got to stop that run. Got to bring some pressure, and the Lions got to run the ball, man. Simple as playing, man. You got to run the ball. You know what I'm saying? It's not about trying to score 30 points a game, score 40. You got to get some turnovers, cause some recent havoc. It can happen, man. So, you know what I'm just saying? <clears throat> um, 
Excuse me. Um, yeah, man. Like I said, we'll see what happens with Taylor Decker uh, if he's going to play or not. Again, I haven't heard any word uh, of it. If I do get word, I may make a short video or something let you guys know. But uh, Chase, like I said, Chase Luka has been brought up, and you know, as far as the defense, you know, we go see get a little bit more of a test run this week to see what they look like. You know what I'm saying? Because got to remember again, it was week one. None of our stars really got to play until week one. So uh, more games we get to play, the more information we find out. So with that being said, my score prediction should be 30. I'm going to just go with 28 to 20. I think we should win this 28 to 20. Um, that's the game. That's the prediction I got for us. We either lose that way or we win that way. But I think we'll win. I, I believe we'll win. So that being said, man, leave in the comment section if you like anything I had to say. Uh, just leave in the comment section, man, and drop me a like if you like the video. You know what I'm saying? And hit the sub for your boy, man. Don't forget to hit that note bell. And uh, I'm going to get back with y'all after the game, man. It's your boy, Nomas J. And I'm, I'm D3 on 3 speeding them out. Peace.